guys, so this video is a little bit different. I'm actually getting ready to redo my room. So I just kind of want to bring you guys with me as I do a few changes in my room. I wanted to just get my room to be more of me and just give it a fresh look which still has my personality. I've already kind of started doing a few things here and there, but I'm really going to go ahead and complete final look and not only that i'll also be giving you guys a view into how i'll be setting up what i call my war room or prayer zone slash reading nook just my place that i go to whenever i'm feeling just a little bit overwhelmed even when i'm happy when i just need to spend time with god is where i have my daily devotion i think it's just super important to just make sure that your space suits you and suits who you are um, and your personality, God has given us creativity to set up the places that we have to take care of the things that we have. It may not be a lot. You may not have a whole bunch of money to get a bunch of stuff. Trust me, I did not break the bank doing this, but I still got things that I really loved and that I really wanted in my space. So can't wait to show you guys. Stay tuned for the entire video. All right, welcome guys to my room. This is the current state. To the left, we have a wall with curtains and I have lights behind it. It's super pretty when the lights are on. And this is my bed. I don't have a headboard or anything and I'll explain why a little bit later on in the video. Over here, we have my prayer zone slash war room, just the space that I spend a lot of time with God, read books, just chill out and relax. Can't wait for you guys to see the final results of it. Right here is my workstation, which I don't use that much, but it's there and we're gonna just do a little bit with that. And right over here is where we have my shooting station, Faith, Hope, and Love. So I'm just getting ready to get my room done, cannot wait. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is changing the direction of my bed. I have it sideways to the wall because I kind of wanted, wanted it to have a day bed look, but I'm about to just turn it back to the other direction where the head is faced against that wall. And I got a little headboard secret that, um, well, it's not really a secret. It's just a different sort of headboard. So I'll be showing you guys that a little bit later. But for now, let's go. I used to have two mattresses, but then I decided that I wanted my bed to have a lower um, look, so got rid of one of them. This bed was my first bed that I've ever bought. Bought it online from Walmart. This was when I got my first apartment while I was a senior in college. So, still have my bed. All in the legs, guys. All in the legs. Now we add everything again. the headboard so I grew up having a tufted headboard and I really like those but I just felt like I didn't really want a tufted look anymore and every single time I looked at different headboards I just didn't see one that I liked I just kind of wanted to have something over my head but just something one wooden and slightly unique and I wasn't really sure of what that was gonna look like but I ended up doing some shopping around and I was visiting Hobby Lobby one day and they had this thing that was on sale um, because it's missing a few pieces. But I thought this was cute and unique and it was only $14.99. It was on sale for $14.99. Sticker is still on there. It was originally $59.99 and now it was on sale for $14.99, um, mainly because of the damaged pieces. But I felt like, oh my gosh, this is kind of cute. I could work with this. And we're gonna use this as a headboard 
I'm not sure how this is really going to look as a headboard, but in my mind, I feel like it could work. So we're just going to try it and see. This is going to look really weird, but I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it behind me. I just want to see how far I want it in comparison to bed and head. I think this is right where I want it. A little marker and I'm just marking that line listen don't judge me you got to make it work you know what sometimes you're just gonna be creative and figure out how to make things work for you especially when you don't have all the equipment that people use to hang random headboard pieces but what I will be doing later with this is I'm gonna try to replicate one of these with a cardboard box and paint um, or if I could get a piece of wood, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'm sure it's possible, right? I'm sure I could find buttons like these somewhere. I'm going to replicate it, and I'm going to do a video on that once I do. All right, now that I have my spot marks, I'm getting ready to hammer in my headboard with just some regular nails. It's not very heavy, but I just think I want to add a couple more nails just for stabilization. Alright, real quick, so I had to redo everything. I tried to straighten my headboard quite a bit. And I also got this filled in and blended in just for the meantime until I figure out how to replicate um, those studs. Um, but what I did is I, I used black glitter nail polish to fill in because I don't have any plain black polish. So that's what I did. And from far, it's just not as obvious. It doesn't look just the same, but it's not as obvious. And that's fine with me for now until I figure out how to replicate those little studs. All right, you guys, let me tell you all about this mirror. Can you see the price? It's $39.99 and I bought it at Ross and I'm so excited about the mirror because I really wanted a huge mirror and I was leaning more towards the ones that they had at Walmart. They have big ones at Walmart um, which are slightly taller but like a lot skinnier. And um, the ones at Walmart are $50 and I just happened to be going into Ross and they had these for $40 bigger and wider, much more of the size that I wanted. And I was so excited when I got them. So I'm so turned and lit about this mirror. You don't even understand right now. I'm loving this mirror so much. All right, so I got my bed area set up the way I wanted it with my headboard and my mirror and a hanging rack. So the only reason why I have that, that hanging rack is because of future videos that I want to do and also because I like to prepare my, my wardrobe for the week and just have them hanging so I kind of know what I'm going to be wearing but I'm about to start in this section which is my prayer zone. I've already taken out a few things and all I have to do is just finish removing all the stuff and get started on this one. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so I had to do a quick Walmart run to find a drill. I really should have thought about this before, but, and I don't even know where to find drills. Like, where do you find drills? We're gonna figure this out. Ah, so found the drills. Now, just which one to get? Okay. Okay, so I bought a drill from Walmart. I'm back, and I'm ready to screw. The reason why I need the drill is because I'm trying to get this curtain to screw up my ceiling. It looks a little bit challenging than I thought it was going to be. But we're going to make it work. I should have worn goggles. Okay, so just got ceiling matter in my eye. I don't really have goggles, so what do you do? 
some shades on. Told you I'm gonna make this work. Obviously, I'm not a professional at gelling, but nothing you can't figure out. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna hang these curtains up. They're 95 inches. I really wanted super long curtains all the way from the ceiling to the floor. I got these at Bargain Hunt for 10 bucks. Then I got this curtain rod at Walmart for like $6. It was on sale. And the last thing is my desk area. So I literally just turned my desk to a different direction. Now it's facing the wall. And I like that because it gives my room a little bit more space. All right, you guys, I just wanted to give you a quick preview of what my room looked like before, just to jog your memories a little bit. Um, the direction of my bed, my prayer zone, my desk area, and where I film, just to remind you of what everything looked like just before I show you guys the final look. All right, let's get right into it. All right, welcome to my humble abode. As you can see, this is my starry wall on the left, which I absolutely love. I did this, I did this a few months ago and I just love it. Um, my rack with clothes, my um, mirror, uh, A, A. <laughs> put a little flower pot there on the floor and my bed I love how the headboard turned out only $15 you guys looks so good I'm keeping that room concealed and I'll explain why a little later but I literally just turned my desk into the wall and it allowed my room to have a little bit more space and of course my wall that I shoot at faith hope and love i just love this room i love how everything turned out and i hope that you guys liked it too <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for tuning into another episode on dana's diaries don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below let me know if you like the look of my room i absolutely love it and i'm i'm so glad that the vision that i had came to life but just before i go i just wanted to point out I said the bonus room. This area right here where I put the curtain up, this is where the bonus room is going to be. But what I've decided to do is just make another video just on setting this one up just because it's a little bit more special to me. So I'm getting ready to go do that and I will upload it as a separate video. If you like anything about this room, you're going to absolutely love my little prayer room war room slash reading the and i'm hoping that these videos will inspire you guys to just take care of your space um that you have and just make sure that it's reflective of who you are and just a place that you can come home every day and just feel relaxed i can't wait to see you guys in the next video but until then don't forget that life was not meant to be easy but you my friend you were meant to be great see you guys <laughs>